I don't know, this looks a lot like Minecraft. Since Ort Online was announced, these words have been said and typed more times than I think anyone would like to count. In this video, I'd like to take a few minutes of your time to explain the similarities and the differences between Ort Online and Minecraft. So there is no point in pretending that Ort Online would exist in the form it's in without Minecraft. These are the rough words of Ben, one of the guys behind Ort Online, and you know what, that's entirely true. Games like Terraria, Starbound, and the upcoming Fortnite, as well as many more, wouldn't exist had Minecraft not laid the foundation for them to begin with. Minecraft gave a whole generation of gamers something to play, something to enjoy, and something to experience together. Now, of course, there are some developers who looked at Minecraft and the success of Minecraft and had their eyes glaze over with dollar signs as saliva poured endlessly from their mods. But there are other developers who looked at games like Minecraft and thought about what would come next. Where would you go after Minecraft? How would you build upon something that many people consider to be a perfect sandbox? Turbulence, the developers of Ord Online, are more than aware of the challenge ahead of them. They knew that people would make these comparisons, and they're happy to take those comparisons as compliments. And this is all obvious from their social media presence, their live streams, and the odd chat I've had with the devs via Twitter. The major difference between Minecraft and Ort Online is that one is currently in release version 1.8, while the other hasn't even gone into an alpha phase yet. One is a completed project with bits being tacked on at the request of the community, and the other is a base of a game with the development being guided by the community. Minecraft gives you an open world with almost limitless possibilities. Ord Online promises to give you adventure, story, exploration, building, trading, combat, and a lot more. It's incredibly important to remember that when comparing these games, they're actually out to serve different purposes. Ord Online is aiming to be an accessible sandbox MMO, while Minecraft is accessible as long as you don't want to play multiplayer. Because if you do, you need a server, you'll need to port forward that server, you'll need to run the Minecraft server client, make sure it's the right version, make sure everyone has the right version of Minecraft, make sure that any plugins you want to run are actually working, and then make sure everyone has the correct IP address. Ord Online does all of that with just a couple of clicks. Now don't get me wrong, I played Minecraft for a solid three years and ran public servers for two of those years. I love that game and as much as people may snicker, it was easily the gateway title that turned me from a purely console gamer to a primarily PC gamer. As consumers, we often feel a great deal of loyalty to things that we purchase and that we use often. This is especially true in gaming and is most noticeable when someone with one console bashes someone with another. Ord Online is not out to replace Minecraft. It's out to be its own game and its own experience with unique adventures and unique mechanics. But what's most important right now is that you remember that there is a long way to go. It may not be the game for you right now, but it may very well be the game for you in just a month or just a year. <laughs>